Hey, it's Jen Vax with YourColorStyle.com and in this video I'm going to share with you how you can identify the best shades of orange to wear. Now orange is not necessarily an easy color to wear when you think of a bright pumpkin orange like you see in front of you, but there are other shades of orange that might suit you better. So let's take a look. This right here is the bright color wheel and in your color style, there is a bright color wheel and a soft color wheel. The bright color wheel starts out with really bright colors and then goes dark and light. And then the soft color wheel starts out with more muted, soft versions of those colors and then goes dark and light. So I'm going to share with you first the bright colors and some color theory and then the soft colors. Now the guide that I'm about to share with you is available in the color style membership. I There are many, many guides there sorted by color that will show you the different shades of a certain color and what looks best on your color type. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about the best shade of bright orange and with some color theory first. Orange right here, I have the word neutral, but orange is not neutral. Orange, as you can see here on the color wheel, is a warm color. It is an even balance between red and yellow, the two primary colors, and you get over here to this orange. Orange is considered a um, sort of a universal color. The other secondary colors on the color wheel, like purple and green, are universal colors, meaning that you can wear them whether you have warm or cool undertones. But orange is one of those colors that's very polarizing, and either you love it or you hate it, either you look good in it or you don't. So when we look at the colors here, the, the three, as you see here, is the even balance between uh, red and yellow. And when you add just a little bit of red to it, it will become more of that orangey red, a tomato red, and kind of leave the orange feeling here. And then if you add in yellow, you start to get more into the um, yellowy oranges. And even though this one right here is called orange, and I did that a long time ago, so the color fans all have this uh, naming on there, so I didn't want to change it. But I do think that the pumpkin here is more uh, a more of a perfect match to what we think of as orange. And then when you, over here, this is more of a yellowy orange. And the reason that I'm showing all these shades instead of just focusing on, say, this light pumpkin is because when we when someone sees one of these orange, these yellowy oranges, I've heard people say yellow, I've heard people say golden yellow, and I've heard people say orange. And so all of this counts, right? So if you don't look good in this pumpkin you might and you have warm undertones then the tomatoey red these orangey reds or the uh, more yellowy oranges will probably look really good on you because orange can sometimes be a bit tough also for the bright if you are someone that wears brighter colors best and this bright you know light pumpkin is just too hard to wear then make it a little bit darker or a little bit lighter and that'll make it a little bit easier to wear I go all the way over to adding yellow until you get to marigolds and butterscotches and mustards. And I don't really see this as orange anymore, but I did want to see, I did, I did want to show you how it starts to become more yellow than orange just by adding in those colors. Okay. So this is the range of the bright oranges. If you have more deep tones, you can wear some of these deeper colors better and you have lighter tones like I do. The light salmons, apricots, and peaches are going to be far more flattering on me. And then if you are someone that needs that intensity, like a bright, warm, and medium individual, you're going to look amazing in those bright tomato reds, pumpkins, orange, and marigolds. So in this guide, each color type is outlined with the best colors for that particular color type. So you can uh, flip through here and find your color type and find your best shades of orange. Now let's look at the soft individuals here. So this is the soft color wheel. As I said, the colors start out softer. And so you'll notice that these oranges are far more earthy, dusty, 
And you can imagine that if you are someone with cool undertones, these colors are gonna be very challenging to wear. Um, in fact, really the only type in my opinion, that can wear orange really well, that has cool undertones, is going to be the person that's bright, cool, and deep. Someone that wears bright colors really well, has cool undertones, and is deep. These uh, oranges here will look amazing on someone that has very, very dark, uh, bluish toned dark skin, uh, and anyone that's got maybe olive skin and silver hair and dark eyes, it, I know it's a warm color, but this, in my opinion, is the only color type, bright, cool, and deep, that looks really good in a true bright orange. Not a dark orange or, or a peach or apricot. Those don't work at, at all, but that true bright orange looks great. Other than that, you really need warm undertones to really pull off these colors. In fact, these are so earthy that if you are bright and warm, they're not gonna be as flattering as if you are soft and warm, meaning that you can wear those softer, earthier, warm tones best. So we start out in the middle. This was once a true orange, but when you soften it, you can see here it gets into those more muddier, dustier colors. Adding red gets you into those soft tomato reds and rust tones, and adding yellow gets you more into like caramel and buff orange and golden browns. Because when you add a little bit of black or a little bit of the complement to orange, you're gonna get a you're gonna get brown. And so these are all tones of those browns. You got red browns, orange browns, and as you can see here, going over and adding more yellow, you get those golden mustards, golden camels, all colors are gonna look amazing on you if you are soft and warm. And so just like in the bright, you can find your color type and find your best shades of orange here. So if you like this idea of this guide and you want to, and you love the color orange or you want to learn more about color theory and the different types of colors that you can wear, check out the membership. There is just huge benefits waiting for you there. And I will leave a link in the description below this video. I'm Jen Vax and thanks so much for watching.